What's good YouTube? I was about to go to sleep, but then I got an inspiration to make a video. And who else makes video this late? <laughs> Alright, but to be fair, I also had like 4 hour power nap, so maybe that's why, but... Alright, anyhow, welcome to the first episode of... I got a bit messy with my uploads and I want to start to organize things here. So for that reason, if you see an upload on Tuesdays, then you know it's Tuesdays for creators. And on these episodes, I will talk all the geeky stuff that we as creators love, such as gear, editing, tips and tricks to improve your craft and so on. And the rest of the days I will leave to short films, vlogs or whatever else I come up with. So on the first episode, I want to show you how I faked the sunset in my recent short film. First things first, if you did miss the sunset, then just wake your ass up the next day to catch the sunrise. It might not look as good as the sunset, but it should be enough to push the colors in post to at least fake it. So today I will show you how to do it. Damn, that intro is so heavy. I like it so much. Good luck if you're using headphones or listening to this on the speakers. But alright, let's start with the color grading. First things first, this was shot on Canon USR's 8-bit C-Log, so that means that my shadows are completely crushed. In order to fix it, I'm gonna open Lumetri scopes and bring down the shadows to the point where it almost hits zero. So that means my blacks are black and not faded or whatever. And here's before and after. You could actually call it like a decent shot, like a blue hour shot, but we are going for a sunset shot. Next thing what I'm gonna do is make a small esker, and I do that to all my footage. It just, mm, hard to describe what it does, but it just makes it look a tiny bit better. Here's also before and after. And now things are really starting to get interesting. I will go over hue saturation and lock in the warm tones and make another two points on each side. And what I'm gonna do now is bring them down. And that rhymes. <laughs> uh, but you may think to yourselves right now, what the hell that guy is doing because the footage looks like shit. And that's true, it does. But now, when I'm gonna increase the temperature, only warm tones will pop up and not all the other ones. I will also increase tint to around 6. And there you go. This already looks like a shot that was made in the sunset. And the rest of things are just like a personal preference. I would increase the contrast, decrease the highlights, everything like a tiny bit. And saturation? Yeah, sure. And I will also go to highlights and bring the highlights up to bring out more of those sunset colors right about here it looks good and last but not least i'm gonna desaturate the shadows that's also something that i do to all my footage and here you actually can see the difference it just makes the footage look cleaner maybe few more adjustments yeah right about here I like how it looks and yeah that's it just few curves few adjustments and we are done and that's how I faked the sunset. I think this tutorial really showed how with just few curves and few adjustments you can completely change your shot. By the way, if you also have a YouTube channel and you have made a color grading video, 
please put your link down in the comments. I love watching how other people color grade their footage. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the first episode of Tuesdays for Creators. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. If you did, leave a comment, press the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.